Well, metastasis is the spread of cancer cells away from the primary site, so from the prostate, for example, or the breast. And metastasis is what kills 90% of all cancer patients. Circulating tumor cells are um, cells that are spreading from the primary site to distant metastases. So they're cells that have escaped into the bloodstream. And the tumor, the cancer, actually uses the bloodstream a bit like the highway, like the 401, to travel um, from one site to distant sites because that's the fastest way. So we are trying to find these cells in the bloodstream to let us know um, whether disease is spreading or metastasizing. The circulating tumor cells are very rare, um, so we expect in a patient with metastatic disease, we expect um, tumor cells are present at a frequency of about one tumor cell um, in a million to 10 million um, blood cells. And so an analogy of that is, is that um, you have, say, three friends, and they're somewhere in Canada, um, but you don't know where they are and also they change their hair color and their clothes every day. And that's really the level of um, sort of needle in a haystack that we're, what we're trying to target with this technology. So we've been working with a blood test um, called the Cell Search blood test, and that's an FDA and Health Canada approved test that we can use in breast cancer and prostate cancer and colorectal cancer. Um, and when we first started this research, it was a research-only instrument. And over the last five years, we've been able to um, move it into the clinic. So it's achieved Health Canada approval. And we now um, offer it here at the London Health Sciences Centre as a test that a patient um, or a physician can request as part of their treatment for metastatic disease. In projects where we're looking at the molecular characteristics of the tumor cells, um, we know based on previous research that certain molecular characteristics um, of circulating tumor cells will um, or are likely to tell us whether a patient is going to respond to, um, for example, standard chemotherapy versus other maybe more specific targeted drugs. And so by analyzing the circulating tumor cells and looking at these specific molecular characteristics, we could help the physician make that decision about which drug to put the patient on. So this idea of treating the right patient with the right drug at the right time.